Well, hello again and welcome back. Today I'm reviewing a new cigar to me. Uh, it's from the Ventura Cigar Company and this is called Pura Sangre and it has just a beautiful band, uh, almost three-dimensional. The uh, artwork at the top. I don't know whether you can pick it up on this uh, video but it's very very nice looking the the uh, pure pure of sangre uh, means pure blood uh, interesting about this cigar it is made in the placencia factory and the ventura cigar company reports that nestor smokes this cigar for his first cigar of the day every day now this uses a Viso Habano Nicaraguan Colorado wrapper. The binder is Viso Habano and the filler is Nicaraguan from Condega, Esteli and Jalapa regions. The cigar is seven by 52. This is the Churchill, very nice looking. Look at the color, very typical Colorado brown color. There is your density, it's quite dense. The cigar is just nice looking. It has some weight to it in the hand also. So um, I'm anxious to try this. Now, this is the only cigar sample I have, so I have not had a chance to smoke the cigar previously to pre-review it in my head. So it's a little tricky sometimes when you only have one sample, but um, let's give it our best shot and I'll let you know my impressions as we go along. So let's get ready to have this beautiful cigar. Well, first thing we have to do is to clip the cap. Here's your cap. And we will now give it a little snip. Very good draw. There's what I took off for the clip. Now for the light up. Very thick leather notes right up front. Uh, apparently there's uh, cedar. With some sweetness to the cedar. And I think a little cream hiding back there in midst that cedar. A lot of nice pepper. The, uh, of course the light up, you know, that's your initial flavors, your initial impression. It does have quite a bit of leather notes. So uh, as always, we'll let it sit for a minute or two and uh, come right back. The Pura Sangre from the Ventura Cigar Company. about an inch in plus or minus I've got a little burn uh, issue there but I'll take responsibility for that the scar uh, the uh, wrapper is quite dense now the flavors are very much like uh, I told you when at light up there is a lot of leather there are some coffee notes the cedar is uh, has sweetness to it and there is just uh, and I've noticed this coming and going but there's a little hint of cream at the back end of the cedar. The pepper is about uh, five or six out of 10 in intensity. And the finish is a combination of 
uh, cream and lightly roasted almonds. So you could almost call it like an almond butter. Okay. And there's a little lingering pepper there. I would call the cigar medium bodied. Uh, other than the little burn issue, which is is due, I'm sure, to the fact that the wrapper is quite thick and dense. As a matter of fact, if you get up close, you can see that the wrapper has some density to it, which is uh, uh, fine. But uh, it also meant that I went a little, little too fast, and I'm going to let it catch up on its own. So uh, there we are at the very beginning stages. A uh, lot of leather, coffee, cedar. So um, let's continue onward and see where we go from here with the Puro Sangre from the Ventura Cigar Company. And this is the Churchill. I wanted to come back uh, and show you that the burn has indeed evened out very nicely. You can see it's just about perfect now and I did not touch it up with the torch. Just let nature take its course. The flavors are still the same. There are a lot of, uh, well, there's some richness there, but it's as rich as leather can be, but it's not a richness uh, uh, like uh, uh, some, uh, some cigars, but there's quite a bit of leather. The coffee base is very nice and the cedar notes are quite sweet and you still get flashes of cream at the tail end of that cedar. Nothing's really changed uh, other than I'm enjoying the cigar. Uh, I must say for a morning cigar, Mr. Placencia has a, a rather stout morning cigar if this is uh, indeed his first cigar of the day. Um, I could smoke it first thing in the morning, but a lot of people would think it's a little bit too much. It's on the par of medium, and I could see it maybe going a little further, so we'll, we'll see as it goes. As you can see, I am about two inches into this seven and a half inch cigar. So uh, let's see where we go from here. Well, I'm around the midpoint and the uh, cigar has uh, moved up a notch in richness. Very good. The uh, leather notes are a little richer, and that's where the richness seems to be coming from. Not the cedar, as in some cases, but the leather is actually richer. Uh, everything else remains about the same. Coffee notes still there, what have you. Um, finish is still about the same, too. A little touch more richness in the, my term, almond butter. Uh, a little more richness there and still remains that little lingering pepper. Uh, lingering pepper, if you want to give it a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being a massive amount of lingering pepper, this is about a 4, 3, 3, 4, somewhere in there. So you can detect it, but it's not tingly like some. Uh, the cigar is going along nicely, continues to burn fairly evenly. No problem there ever since the beginning when I uh, went a little too fast. Um, so that's where we are. A little more richness on that leather, which uh, gives it nice flavor. And uh, uh, the cigar is moving along quickly. Not a lot of changes, so there's not much uh, to come back and tell you about, but the richness is definitely worth mentioning. All right, we're here at the end, so I'm going to wrap it up. The cigar ended up uh, with some decrease in the uh, cedar, but an increase in the leather. So, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the richness in the leather also decreased. The coffee notes accentuated the leather, however, at the end, and the pepper remained about the same, possibly intensifying somewhat. The finish remained about the same throughout with a little lingering pepper. The cigar ended up medium bodied, uh, I thought it might go a little further, but it didn't. The uh, Aventura Cigar Company has a nice cigar here made for them by the Placencias. And I'll say again, if this is Mr. Placencia's first cigar of the day, it's quite stout for a first cigar of the day. I can see it going very well with coffee, uh, with those deep leather notes and the coffee uh, uh, accentuators. 
Um, but uh, all that being said, it's a good cigar. Uh, leather, heavy leather noted cigars and me usually don't fare well unless they have other flavors going on and this cigar did. The sweet cedar for the most part throughout the cigar made it very enjoyable. So uh, I uh, commend uh, the Placencias and what they've made for the uh, uh, Ventura Cigar Company. So that being said, this cigar with me gets a score of 91 and I suggest if you can find these, uh, you try them for yourself. I appreciate them sending it to me to review and there you have it. The Ventura Cigar Company's Puro Sangre 91.